All right, so this next match in Losers is going to be a run back of round one where Blackstorm VR beat Chiquelo Young. It was Molina against Shinnok, and then yep. Chiquelo did choose Jack for that last match, right? He yes. did. He yes. chose Jax, he lost, and then he stayed all Shinnok down in the loser's bracket. We'll see if he decides to try maybe Jax in the beginning this time. I don't know. His Jax, unfortunately, didn't really do too much, but we'll have to see what's going to happen. His Jax didn't do too well in that matchup, but then he immediately did get to watch Dante yeah. beat Blackstorm but with But it was Jax. also two different variations. That's true, but still, there were a lot of things that he could see. So, you know, if he starts doing the, a lot more of those enhanced Da uh, overhead dash punches yeah. that we're hitting every Votes single time. would be golden. They would. I mean, that is a huge, huge skill as a competitor is to watch yeah, matches of tells. your opponents, see what you know they get hit by, see what they do, so you don't get hit by it. And a lot of people they just assume, you know, I'll just play it by ear. You know, this is a tournament match. Like, it, I just need to prepare mentally. But it's when I mean, I, information it's like when is I hit huge. you with those juicy back twos with Jax into rocket cancel. <laughs> One, no, two, you mean three. it to just let the rocket go is generally what you Actually, do. Actually, yeah, I would do that a lot. It was really awesome. He would expect bomb. me to cancel instead. I just let that bad boy go. Yo, that the EX enhanced rocket to seventeen percent. I know. On a hit. I know. Mm. Kill people through X rays and stuff. It's pretty good. We're still trying <laughs> to get this next match good. connected. It just takes a little bit longer. We're not too close to them. So let me let me ask you a question real quick. All right, let me answer you. Yes. So for the finals, we had. Quite an amazing run last year. People really wanted to go. They procrastinated. And then what happened at the finals? I'll tell you what happened. We had the KP2 characters playable live at the finals. People got to go. They got to play. They got to see it before everyone else. So with the Season 3 finals, what if I told you that we're upping the ante? Obviously, I'm not going to tell you what that ante is. Get your tickets, man. Definitely get them. And I do want to say that. MKX3.eventbrite.com. Get those tickets. Do it. Get them. It's worth it. But I do want to say that was not a question. That I did was, tell you true. were going to ask me a question. I didn't have an <laughs> opportunity to answer at Got all. Got Let me. <laughs> so, yes, my answer to that is yes. Yes. No, definitely get out. Yep. Like you said, MKX3.eventbrite.com. You guys should just, should just go. It's a new venue. It is going to be. It's much bigger, bigger it's like at venue. least twice as big. Twice as big. And uh, I finally, we got to really see the setup, venue. and it is going to be so cool. If you guys liked the setup last uh, season finals, which I thought was incredible. I liked it. I loved uh, the everyone setup. Everyone was kind of encircling the um, the players. Josh, tell me about the, tell me more about the finals. We're playing, like. We have bleachers, folks. That's how big this is going to be. Bleachers. We have bleachers. We got bleachers. We got food. We got T-shirts. We got swag. People also got those really awesome LexCore chargers last time as well. So we got plenty more surprises, but we want to save the surprises for the crowd. Only thing you have to do is buy your tickets. Uh, I also want to talk to you gentlemen about the variety of character selections we've seen this Pro League. Throughout any fighting game's history, you'll see after about the first year some changes, some understanding of the meta, and also some new surprises. I, one of the biggest surprises was a Foxy Grandpa's performance with Piercing Melina, which has now become one of my favorite characters to play. But in your opinion, gentlemen, are we going to continue to see a large variety of characters being played at the finals, or are we going to see less and uh, variety and more of just character specific uh, as we've seen previously in season one and season two? Well, first of all, I mean, the, the boom in characters that we've seen is definitely because of PS4 and the netcode. I mean, a lot more players are able to join, they're able to try new things. The netcode is incredibly good now, so they're able to actually take those characters online, get to feel comfortable with them. And then finally see if that's going to be the new character for them or Pocket or whatever. On top of that, we have seen a lot of meta changes. We've seen Combat Pack yeah. 2 come out. And I'm really excited to see if, well, okay, a lot of these players, they played a good character for a very long time. And now, within this season, they've switched. We've seen Foxy switch from Lau to Melina. We've seen Sonic Fox switch from his Sonic six Fox, characters yeah, to his new six characters. Like but I would love to see if we're going to see any of the players go back to their old characters. Right. Because that's always a pocket option. And that's another thing is we don't know exactly what character Sonic Fox or Scar... I mean, we know Fox is going to be playing Piercing Melina. That's, that's a given. But Scar, Sonic Fox, some other players that are coming, they have like a secret, top secret character that they still haven't yet revealed to us of who they're going to be playing. I mean, Tyrant... Um, 
right? Hitbox Tyrant, uh, Yomi's Hitbox Tyrant. He was a diehard Jax player, and I actually saw him, unfortunately, shout out to Tyrant, he's a very strong player, but I saw him using um, Leatherface. Yeah, he has combo breaker. <laughs> he is now instead of Jax. Leatherface. Yeah, which is like, I never would have thought that he would have gotten off of Jax. I know, me neither. So it's the meta change, it's all of that stuff. It's, it's also some people just like other characters more now for whatever reason. Like I said, Tyrant is a perfect example. Used to play nothing but Jax. Switching over. Yeah, and those were some, some good matches from Combo Breaker. He did yeah. unfortunately Round get eliminated in a run twice. back from uh, Destroyer, who was top eight in the cell left. Those were really, really, really close, close matches. I feel for him. All but. right, so we're going into this run back here. Blackstorm playing Ravenous Molina again, and it looks like Chiquelo Young is playing Bone Shaper again. So just exactly what we had, the rematch of just round one and winners. Yo, did you see his killer, though? His cancels? Oh, yeah, we're so sick. He plays killer like a run cancel character. It's so... That's why I liked watching him play. I was like, this man is crazy. But yeah, shout out to him. Unfortunately, we won't be seeing him at the finals. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't even live here anymore. No, that's what... If, I mean, at least if he was here, we'd get to see him, but... No. All right, now this should be the kill here. So it looks like Blackstorm, nice, putting him back in the corner. Blackstorm taking a strong first round. Oh, I just... We just got to see what adaptations Chiquelo has made, because he was losing pretty bad, honestly, in his first set. Yeah. Chiquelo doing just fine right here, though. I mean, he did lose the first round, like you said, but... I like that he uses the, the ground shaker, the down back one, more than most Chinooks I've seen. Because I personally love that move. That's true. It is unblockable, and he has so many different space control tools that a lot of the time you're just not ready for it. The one thing that I still think all Bone Shapers need to use more is the fact that that OTGs, which means that you can get it guaranteed off the ground from a lot of hard knockdowns. It doesn't scale at all. It's not part of the combo. It's just 100% guaranteed. You're 100% guaranteed. 100% guaranteed for the, the finals. Oh, hey. oh, that was good, but I was Wait, trying well, to insult I you there. Uh, so why? I know. Uh, I didn't say anything, man. No, I didn't say nothing. You're a bad friend. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Oh, catches it, but no conversion. Oh, and a great down one anti again. again. Black Storm is probably the most consistent anti-air we've seen today. Absolutely. Those down ones and rolls sometimes. He's really great at knowing at what range to do what anti-air. And he's getting a lot of damage off of it, too. Now, that's something that uh, Chiquelo needs to stop doing, is jumping. Chiquelo. I like that. I'm starting to understand. <laughs> or understand how to say it, I should say. Yeah, your, your pronunciation's evolving over time. You're getting it. Although his his tag here is Connor, which would be much easier for you to say. Right. <laughs> like, don't make my life easier. That's fine. All right. Oh, so we're seeing a switch. We haven't seen this since season oh, two. Oh my goodness. We've got bone, bone hands. hands. Last seen from CR's Wild Cowboy to take out Dab. Wow, that seems like it was forever ago. Right. And what a strange pick that was. And what a strange it pick worked. this is. It worked. Well, it worked against Dab. Not so hot against Sonic Fox. Right, right. But, one, hey, for some reason, it, it could, I mean, I, I guess you would you'd pick it maybe to zone? I mean, he can try to win the zoning game a little bit more. He can challenge her zoning with the flicks, but he is going to lose, a, I mean, he loses the low string, so he cannot hit confirm his low anymore. He loses the scoop, so he's not going to be able to counter zone quite as well. And it doesn't look like this variation is working at all, but he does get a straight jump in. All right, does he know the optimal here? Now, Bone Shaper, or sorry, not Bone Shaper, Necromancer does have the highest damage overall. Oh, that was nice. Nice little setup there with the unblockable hand. A point blank unblockable, that's pretty balls. Nice, oh, nice back dash. That was such a beautiful play. Matchup knowledge. And that should be the kill How? Here. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like, oh yeah, I play against Necromancers all the time for some reason. No, this is a variation we almost never see. I mean, Imposter and Bone Shaper are both considered extremely good variations. Necromancer just generally isn't... Con it's not considered that he gains enough I mean, as opposed to the other variations. Yeah. I mean, granted, that was, like, just basic matchup knowledge of you can backdash those things, but even still, like, to expect that. Right, right. You, you have to have a... I mean, even just having a presence of mind and a level of comfortability 
it, it's huge. Oh, oh, there we go. That's, that's going to be huge. It's not going to kill. I feel like that could be the kill. Maybe not. I think teleporting inside does 40%. That looks like that could be 40%. That oh, will be the kill. Never mind. <laughs> I did not think he was going to do that much damage. That does a lot of damage. Wrong and again, Godspeed. <laughs> We need a, like a like a tally, like a counter, yeah. yeah. Like times Godspeed has been wrong. No, uh, oh my that does that, way more that damage than you infinite. think it would. Yeah, dude, forty percent. No, that surprised me. Yeah, real good. And the best thing about that is that even if it was blocked, that's plus on block and an overhead, so it's a little bit of a mix-up. And you know, a lot of times people try to punish the teleport yeah. on block, and then they get hit by the X-ray. So one way or another, it was a it was a pretty safe bet. Johnny's X-Ray 2 is another one that's an overhead that's also safe on It's actually plus on it block. It is so plus on block, I believe it jails into another 4-3 afterwards. <laughs> that's so silly. <laughs> oh, Johnny pressure is crazy. We have not really been seeing a lot of Johnny in NA. However, in EU, Fight. quite a bit, yes. We I have. Irish Mantis. As well as, um, is it Vladdy? Yes. yes. Oh, and... I would like to see a little bit more disrespect after the block flips. Block flips are minus on block. All right, nice. Going for the restand. And there's a disrespectful roll. Now, that's a really scary, risky choice against Bone Shaper. Or, sorry, against Shinnok in general. And this is Bone Shaper again. Because the 4 4, the low, is so fast and it does not get low profiled by roll. And that may seem redundant, but there are a lot of lows that are roll low profiles. Yeah. Which is really big. Fight. It is. All right, and those air size, such a good choice. Bone Shaper, one of its greatest strengths is the fact that it has the enhanced scoop, which allows you to armor through. There it is, right there. Come to his curse. <laughs> All day Every today. time. It's been, it's been worse today than yeah, I've ever today seen. Today has it. by far been the worst. But it's a great anti zoning tool. It's one step away from full screen range and allows you to get a full combo from armoring through projectile. However, the air size from Molina leave her off the ground, so armoring through with the scoop doesn't work because you'll just go underneath it. Blackstorm is, I mean, he's losing in in the life department, but he's been so awake this whole match against Chiquelo, and oh, here we go. That was a little bit of a late break. And this oh. should do it. That's going to be game. Yep, and Blackstorm double eliminating Chiquelo. Wow. But that means that we will have Win. In grand finals, the run back. a rematch. Another run back. We're just seeing run back run back. Dante versus Black Storm. We saw that Jax quite brutally mop it, with it the was. overheads. I mean, uh, it was it, <laughs> it was a crazy play style, you know, honestly, from Dante. Off topic, you know what I really miss is those trash talk videos from uh, DJT. DJT. We should have gotten some, trash, some smack talk videos from these Latin American players. We should. That would have been fun. And that's the thing. Well, I mean, unfortunately, like, if, you know, if they're speaking other languages, other yeah. Other languages, like, I wouldn't be able to understand, but maybe the body language, it still would have been. I mean, Josh could probably understand it, I'm guessing, because... Actually, a huge shout out to a few of my players from my local. We actually had two players, Erdal and Jesse, commentate in Spanish for almost the entire time. Nice. And it was That's awesome. amazing. I have to say, the Spanish commentary is absolutely incredible. They were so funny and they had great synergies. Shout out to them. Honestly, when I watch you know, some other games sometimes, like I enjoy watching the other channels. You know, they're broadcast in different languages. I think it's really interesting. And sometimes. I can't, like you said, I can't understand what they're saying, but just the way they're saying it, it's hilarious. I like hope they that, can be really funny. I hope the people that Unlike don't us. speak English watch us, and I think the same thing. They're I like, oh, they're so funny. I seriously doubt it. <laughs> like, what are those guys doing? I what really doubt it, about? but, I mean, hey, we can dream, right? <laughs> no, we're not allowed to. We're under contract. We can't dream. Josh, you can speak another language. You can speak um, Spanish, can't you? I can. Yeah. I can. Uh, and it's been fantastic to work with the ESL Brazil and ESL Latin American teams to put together the these regions for the Challenger Cup. And we do have simulcasts right now in Spanish and Portuguese. So shout out to those production crews all over the world, baby. That's what esports and ESL is all about. But happening in the world right now is Combo Breaker in Chicago. Quick update of who's made it into the top 16 so far. We got Foxy Grandpa 
versus Katana Prime that's going to be Ooh. happening. Plus Big D, Perfect Legend, and Slayer, some of the big names that you know from the Pro League have made it to the top 16. Uh, also Biohazard and Red Raptor will be playing a little bit later today. Following that, we have the lower bracket for Combo Breaker. We have Forever King and Sonic Fox that are down the lower bracket. Also some other names in the grassroots scene have been making it out in the Combo Breaker, so best of luck to all of those players. And also a huge thank you to WB Games and NetherRealm who provided a $10,000 pop bonus for Mortal Kombat X. Combo Breaker has been a fantastic event every year, and it's great to see Rick the Hadou put so much great effort into making this event truly one for the record books. And for us to allow one of the players, the champion of Combo Breaker, to get a seed into the ESL Pro League Finals. A huge shout out to all the grassroots events that have continued to push Mortal Kombat, and uh, we're looking forward to the future working with them as well. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, folks, it's the finals, and no matter what language you speak, it's going to be an ass-kicking good time. We'll see you then. The Xenomorph. I will tame you, animal. Alien. Officially known as Xenomorph XX121, this immensely hostile species lives to propagate itself by harvesting other life forms. The Xenomorph's superior body structure features great strength, cunning agility, and highly corrosive blood as a defensive mechanism. Spawning from a Tarkatan host, Alien is ready to terrorize and colonize any realm with three variations. In the Tarkatan variation, Alien brandishes arm blades, increasing normal attack range to slice and dice its enemies. Tarkatan Rush, back forward Y, is a high pressure special attack, allowing Alien to mix up and extend combos. Keep your foe guessing with vicious tail attacks and end your combos with Chop Chop or Xeno Strike. After trapping your opponent, use Low Cut, Back A, in combination with Tail Slam and Quick Dash to maximize damage. In the Conjure variation, summon Ovomorphs and Xenomorph drones to do your bidding on the battlefield. After an opening, overpower your enemy and spawn a Facehugger to set up your next engagement. Use Zeta 2, Ford XAB, in combination with Quick Dash to keep up the pressure. Change the angle of your attack. After sending out an SOS, summon the Hive with deadly aerial mix-ups. Corrode your opponent's defenses with the Acidic Variation. Exosting, down back Y, spews acid that damages over time. When used on a grounded opponent, it allows Alien to continue with an onslaught of mix-ups. After a combo, use Acidic Blood, down back B. This short-range special attack causes Alien to hurl acid on the enemy, re-standing them out of a juggle. Command the screen with Alien's long-range attacks, agile special moves, and terrifying mix-ups. Stalk from a distance, or rush in and exterminate with extreme prejudice. Make the enemy declare, Game over, man! with an X-ray finisher. And give your old rival a mouthful of pain with the brutality. Evolve with the horrifically perfect organism, Alien. <laughs> 